have some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. So we now have access to the final DLC portion of this game. We've done technically Battle of Gods and we've done Resurrection F and you would assume that we would continue with Dragon Ball, well, Super, if you will. But remember, those two storylines are actually a part of Dragon Ball Z, just retold in Super. So this time we're gonna go Oh my goodness, we're gonna go here and do Trunks' storyline. So, reading everything it says, Trunks the Warrior of Hope, story recap, in another world, Goku loses his life to a heart disease, and the arrival of a pair of wicked androids plunges the world into a nightmarish hellscape. The defenders of Earth are defeated one after the other, until eventually, Gohan and a young Trunks are the only warriors left to combat the android threat. And of course we get added android assault battles, added an item exchange feature with the researcher, added new training, and added six new sub stories. So with that being said, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm so excited. Let's do it. Am I sure? Absolutely. Let's go. Goku has died. He had stood tall against the deadliest of foes, but the mighty warrior was no match for the virus in his heart. Though those close to Goku were overcome with sadness, they continued to lead peaceful lives for some time. But six months later, Two monstrosities appeared on an island to the south. Earth's defenders met them head on, but they stood no chance. Piccolo was the first to fall. Then Vegeta, Yamcha, Tien, and Krillin all lost their lives. The two androids plunged the world into a state of constant fear and chaos. It is here, 13 years later, that our story begins. A story about a world without Goku. Vegeta and Bulma's son, Trunks, has grown into a young man with a strong sense of justice. How could the androids do this? How could they be so cruel? <clears throat> Gohan is the only warrior left alive to face off against the android threat. Trunks, admiring Gohan's strength and burning with a desire to defeat the androids, makes an impassioned plea. Gohan, I want to be stronger. I want to put a stop to these monsters. Please, train me so I can help you fight. Gohan and Trunks, the last surviving warriors. Trunks. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you, Gohan. You won't regret this, I promise. Several days later, Trunks begins his intense training with Gohan, hoping to improve his skills enough to contend with the androids. All right, let's get started with today's training. Right! I can't wait! I know I don't really have to say this, but I will anyway. The androids are insanely strong. I'm gonna fight you as if I'm fighting them. If you don't do the same, you're gonna get hurt. Understood. Here I come! It's time! 
Okay, I smooth. But, um, if there's one thing I can address real quick, right? Because uh, I know a lot of people are going to comment about this for sure. It's very clear that uh, Team Future Trunks' voice actor is different, right? Initially, Eric Bale voiced, uh, obviously, you know, the Future Trunks that we all know. And, of course, Team Future Trunks in the special. But I'm assuming they're giving the new voice actress of uh, Kid Trunks, if I'm not mistaken, her name is Alexis Tipton. Um, but they're giving her... Oh, I was hoping to have a projectile. <laughs> um, but I'm assuming that they're giving her a shot at uh, voicing the Trunks. Which, in truth, I'm actually completely okay with. Because uh, for a lot of you guys who actually don't know... Trunks in Dragon Ball Super is the exact same age as this Trunks. So, I'm completely okay with this, actually. It, it might just throw people off just because, you know, this Trunks actually looks older than uh, Trunks in Super, wow, but Trunks. what can you do? You fight like this reminds me a lot of Vegeta. That means a lot to me, Go oh, and, ah! oh, and also, uh, to be fair, also to, okay. you know, Alexis Tipton's, uh, you know, defense... <laughs> The voice actors okay. of Future Gohan and Bulma are all different from the special as well, because none of those guys are the original. So, yeah. But I'm I'm still all here for it, all around. You're good, Trunks. You're definitely Vegeta's son. I'm still not good enough. I don't think I'll ever be able to beat you at your best. <laughs> no way. You're gonna be even stronger than me someday. I'm counting on it. I sure hope so. All right, we better head back. Bulma's not gonna be too happy if we stay out here any longer. Right. Definitely can't let her know I'm training with you. I'll go with you part of the way. Thanks. Hey, we're going home. Uh, key blast on the field. Use LT to enter for... Wait, what? Wait, we already know about this. Okay, well, skip. Hey, Trunks' Masenko super attack is now available. We got a projectile. Um, super attacks unlocked in the store. We already know about this. Wait, what? Oh, crap. I forgot about these, though. Soul emblems. I mean, I know what they do. I just forgot that they existed. Uh, so I guess we can skip this because it's giving us a recap on what to actually do in the game. But we already know what to do. Anyway, uh, let's go to characters. Uh, Trunks is level 22. Super attack pallets, and we're gonna equip Masenko right now. Okay. Oh, and also, I think this is the first time I'm actually playing this game on my new PC. So, uh, if we don't hurry, yeah. my mother's gonna start worrying about me. Given the way things are now, okay. I blame her. Let's make sure we make it way, back quickly, though. Doing? I'm not trying to fight anybody. Well, pretty good. She's kind of run into some trouble with something she's working on. Huh? Trunks, wait. <laughs> Somebody help! Go on. That guy over there's in trouble. Right. I'm on it. Are you okay? Who, who are you two? You were attacked by that thing, weren't you? Oh no! Huh? Uh, what is this? The, that alarm. It's going to get the android's attention. What? You hear that, AT? Yeah, I hear it. Sounds like fun to me. We're doomed! Doomed! The androids are no doubt on their way now! Trunks, quickly, take this person somewhere safe. I'll do my best to distract the androids if they show up. Right, will do! Sure hope Trunks was able to find a safe hiding spot. <laughs> oh, it's only you. I was hoping for a change of pace, but I guess that's not gonna happen. This sucks. We're just repeating the same fight over and over again. It's the androids. So what that guy was saying was true. They actually showed up. What are you doing here, Trunks? Uh, I thought I could help you fight them. No. You're not strong enough yet to take them on. 
Hey, he's already showed up for the party, so why not let him join in on the fun, huh? I guess it's too late now. Try to avoid them and stay right behind me as much as you can. Right. Got it. Okay, I, I need y'all to listen to me right now. I need y'all to pay attention. Okay. Do y'all hear this music? Oh! <laughs> this music is so mean. <laughs> oh my goodness, yo. This song is fire. <laughs> Okay, uh, oh my, uh, I gotta chill out. Okay, uh, meet any battle condition. Uh, battle condition one, stun the opponent one time. Battle condition two, reduce that androids HP to a combined total of 40. Wait, so we have battle conditions now? Oh man, okay. Uh, that's new, but let's do it, I guess. It's time. Oh, we actually have to win Gohan. Yes. Assault battles. Oh, that's what this is, okay. Gone and Trunks are not yet strong enough to face the unbelievably powerful androids, so they will need to find an opportune moment to escape. Fulfill the indicated conditions in battle to get away. Don't try oh, okay. to win. Just focus on staying alive. Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna try this to song is heat. Okay. Uh oh. Looks okay. Like they're running uh, out of steam. What are you two oh. talking about? I'll try to. Ow. Oh. Smack. Okay. Me. Okay, him. Okay, so you can down. Kinda. There you go. Charge. Because last thing I'm gonna do is revert if I don't have to. Uh, we'll do muscle. Uh oh. Oh, oh you, you got out the way. <laughs> Come here. There we go. Oh. oh. Darn it! I thought I had him. Oh. Oh my. Smack the other way. They are pulling up. Leave me alone. Darn it, I don't have enough key. What's wrong? We came this far and this is the best you can do. Masanko! Oh, oh man. I could have probably stunned her right there. How are they this Come on, come on. Oh, I, I'm sure. Oh, no. Bro, I'm taking. Oh, no, 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 no. Crap, drugs! Ah! Okay. Too strong. I can't believe Go. All right, let's unleash the power. Ah! Come here. Ah! Uh, you stop running from me. Wait, wait, what? Gone! Send her out! <laughs> this is her only shot at getting away. Okay, so we just have to fulfill one. Trunks, now's our chance to get out of here. R right. Well, damn. Looks like they got away. Whatever. They weren't that fun anyway. Let's get out of here. Sure. Maybe they'll actually put up a fight next time, but I'm not holding my breath. <sighs> okay, I think they're gone now. Yeah, looks like it. I sure hope that guy we helped out earlier is okay. Yeah, I'm worried about him too. You mind showing me where he is? Sure, I'll take you there. Sir, are you okay? Oh, it's you two, so you're still alive. Yeah, you look like you're doing okay too. You know, when that thing found me, I thought I was a goner. But fortunately, you two came to the rescue. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, it was nothing. By the way, what exactly was that drone? That was one of the Red Ribbon Army's old patrol bots. Dangerous little guys. What? It's programmed to fly around Red Ribbon Army facilities, and if it detects any potential intruders, it sounds an alarm to call reinforcements. Okay, but there aren't any Red Ribbon Army facilities in this area, though. That's true, but it appears the bot is operating on its own. 
It's forgotten its patrol routine and instead detects threats anywhere, all around the world. To make matters worse, the androids are the ones around to hear and respond to its alarm. If you don't intend to fight the androids, you only have two options, either evade the drone or destroy it. If the alarm does trigger, you should be able to avoid alerting the androids by destroying the drone right away. I see. Thanks for the information. You really do seem to know a lot about drones and stuff. Indeed. That's because I'm a researcher who specializes in mechanical engineering. Anyway, the Red Ribbon Army robots make use of some experimental technology. Their state-of-the-art command drones control other drones, and inside those command drones are some particularly rare parts. I thought I'd try to procure one of those rare parts and finally do something about those drones. But then one of them spotted me. Are you serious? That's dangerous. He's right. You should stay far away from that drone. Huh, maybe you're right. But if you two could destroy that command drone for me and help procure that part, it'd really help me out. Think it's possible? I'll reward you for your efforts, of course. Huh. If that thing's still around to alert the androids, it could end up getting a lot more people killed. So, you'll help me, will you? I suppose. At least as much as I can. Oh, that's perfectly fine with me. I'll be counting on you two, so stay safe. So we're after a drone that can alert the androids. We definitely have to stop it. Right. But if we don't handle this carefully, we'll end up fighting the androids when we don't need to. We have to be smart. You can say that again. I mean, as much as I hate to admit it, I'm no match for the androids right now. Okay, let's try to make our way back as safely as we can. Right. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. The, the voice is growing on me. It, it really is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have no problem with the voice of Trunks at, at all. I really don't. Anyway, Android Assaults, drones are now patrolling the areas. If a drone spots you and its alert meter fills completely, it will sound its alarm and draw the androids to the area. To prevent this from happening, either avoid being detected or destroy the drones before they can sound their alarms. Okay, so fairly straightforward. Uh, seeing that you can't like actually throw punches uh, if you're not in combat, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to destroy it with key blasts. Something that makes sense. Oh, okay, drones. Different colored drones have different functions. Red stays in place and surveys a set radius around its location. Yellow pursues the player if they are spotted. Purple commander drone that manages other drones, which I'm pretty sure if you destroy it like a commander drone, it'll probably deactivate everything. Uh, destroy commander drones to free areas from... Okay, sure enough. I was right. Uh, destroy commander drones to free areas from drone surveillance, but make sure you do so before the androids spot you. Commander drones will give you parts when destroyed, which can be exchanged for items from the researcher. Okay, that's not bad. And then, of course, uh, exchange items with the researcher. Give any drone parts you've collected to the researcher in exchange for items. Some of these items are valuable and limited in quantity. Keep destroying drones to collect parts and trade them for items only available from the researcher. And then we got EXP. Yes. Oh. Oh, my. Uh. Okay. That's the direction we need to go? I know y'all see all of those things surrounding the area there there's actually just no way but there's a commander drone right there so if i'm able to kind of like move through i might be able to make something work uh l let's see well actually can we shoot these things i don't even know uh let's see oh press the wrong button okay we can good Okay, cool. Just in the nick of time. So we can kind of, we don't even have to like aim exactly at it. Okay. We just have to aim now near the it. androids won't be drawn here. They look simple enough to beat. Okay, this is. Thank goodness. I thought I'll this was gonna be. be oh, oh, I, I'm being detected. Better I'm being detected. It before it causes any trouble. Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay, I'm going away. Oh my goodness, we were about to get annihilated. What? 
Thank goodness. I okay. was able to destroy it. Alright, these things are tripping. Alright, right here, right at a safe distance. Darn it, darn it! Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I, I thought I was about to get oh, annihilated. Right. Oh, is this one of those parts that researchers collecting? I should go give it to him. This area should be okay for a while now. Don't get to tell me twice. Get me out of here. <laughs> get me out of here right now. I don't want to be here. The I want to go home. A real mess of this place. Okay. It's just me and mom living here. Let's get it. Oh, we got a uh, mega heal aid and fancy necklace. Not bad. Ugh, made it. I bet you're pretty tired. Get plenty of rest. You'll need it for our training tomorrow. Right. Thanks for today, Gohan. See you tomorrow. The next day. Okay, Mom. I'm gonna meet Gohan now. See you later. You've been hanging out with Gohan a lot recently, Trunks. You better not be putting yourself in danger. Are you putting yourself in danger? Uh, of course not. <laughs> Is that so? Okay, then. As long as you're going to see him, why not ask Gohan to join us for dinner? We've got more than enough food. That's a great idea, Mom. Gohan will love that. I'll ask him. Okay, bye. Be careful out there. You know what's crazy? Wait, is the orbs? We already know about those. Search for heat. We already know about that. Pressing LB on the field. Blah blah blah. All right. Okay, but you know what's crazy? Go, go. It would have been kind of cool if um they showed the scene where uh Trunks and Bulma are just you know driving in the car. Wait, I just realized Bulma's cooking. She can cook. She can we'll cook. Talk about all sorts of Cause stuff. remember Dragon Ball Super, she can't great. cook for her life. They might be out of my league. Sorry for the wait, Gohan. You get enough rest yesterday? If not, you're not gonna get as much out of this training as you should. I'm good. All right. I'm sure you know firsthand how strong the androids are. And that's why we need you to become a Super Saiyan as soon as possible. Uh, okay. Let's get right into it. It's gonna be tough, but once you're warmed up, I'll help you out. So, you ready? Yep, let's do this. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Come. It's on. Bring it on. Go on. Uh. Oh wait. Must go. Okay. There we go. Getting there. Right. I can keep going. No. We've. Oh. Oh. Uh. Coming a super saiyan. Okay. So. Oh. Smack. There we go. You're Actually, I should probably aim for a beam struggle Wait. if I can. Okay. Ugh. Well, I guess he hit me with the same move. I'm getting bodied. There we go. My turn. Oh, Jordan, I was about to do, uh, was it the dive bomb kick slash just to see what it is? I was not prepared for that at all. Come here. Okay. Oh, uh. Isn't that, that's kind of like the move that, uh, was it Super Trunks uses in, uh, Xenoverse 2. <laughs> but it's not going to help you become a super uh, Let's just fully charge just because we can. Get angry, Trunks. Come on. He did. Okay. Beam struggle! Ah! It's not, oh! Like you're still not okay. Up. He's no, just I too am. strong. Like, we actually got a body. Here it comes. Oh, nothing too far. Come here. Like, I, I want a redo, man. Come here. I want another beam struggle. Okay. I did it too late. Yeah, well, there'll be other opportunities. <laughs> okay, Lane Maseko. Pretend I'm an android. Let the rage consume you. You okay. As an android? I don't think he can well, do that, Gohan. Tough, that's not what he does. Try. Is it time? What's wrong? Okay, yeah, I'm you gonna get annihilated. No, I'm fine. I barely got out of the way. 
Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, Masenko? Yeah, right now we're not doing too good. There we go. Send him out. Oh, follow up. Oh. That's enough for now. Got it. Oh, I, it said to beat him, but we actually didn't defeat him. Hey, but we leveled up. Let's get it. Ooh, level 25. Not bad. <laughs> We're looking powerful. It sure is hard to become a Super Saiyan. I mean, I'm really trying to get angry. <laughs> I never said it would be easy. It's really just a matter of increasing your energy and exploding with rage. Sounds simple. But to actually pull it off, you're gonna need more training. Right. I won't give up. Oh, yeah. My mom wanted to know if you'd have dinner with us tonight. You'll come, right? Uh, dinner? Uh, you sure it's okay? Yeah. I think she's already making enough for all of us. I see. Well, if that's the case, then I guess I'll head over. Awesome! Okay, let's get going! That's that boy. Go home. Hey, more EXP. Okay, I'm level 26. Red Ribbon Army drones are on patrol. Oh, I sure hope they don't find anybody hiding from them. All right. Okay, let's go. Uh, hopefully you don't get detected so through any of these. Oh. I can't the last time I had oh, that thing was moving to me. So, you've known my what? mom for a long time, haven't you? Get me out yeah. of here! I was only four when I first met her. Oh, oh, these guys got some dialogue. Actually, a lot happened that day. Mike, My I'm just trying to make sure I live. Oh, it's right sense. here. Oh, yeah? What happened? It's something somebody they, they actually have, like, well, good dialogue, so. It's complicated, but. Oh, yeah, he's, he's explaining his backstory. I, I'm going to let this play for those of you guys who don't know. Then I had to basically survive on my own in the wilderness for half a year. That's big facts. What? Really? Y you mean that all happened when you were four years old? <laughs> Man, Sounds like, unbelievable. You and Gohan had it's two true. completely different lives. It's so incredible. I don't really know what to say. Better be careful and avoid triggering that drone's alarm. Wait, what? The androids might show up. I guess that's the end of the dialogue, but yeah, y'all had different lives, bro. I'm back, Mom, and I brought Gohan with me. Glad you're back safe, Trunks. And it's good to see you, Gohan. Yeah, good to see you too. Your timing's impeccable. I just finished preparing dinner. The androids have made it pretty hard to get everything I want. Some ingredients are hard to find. But I try to make up for it with my ability to adapt in the kitchen. I really appreciate this, Bulma. And so, thanks to Bulma's efforts, the three were able to enjoy a nice meal together and relax. Bruh, they are eating! Mmm, thanks a lot for the meal. It was delicious. Whoa, you sure can eat a lot, Gohan. Uh, well, it was just so good I couldn't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're just like him. Huh? Like who? Seeing you in that outfit, eating like you do. <laughs> you remind me so much of your father. It's almost like he's still here. I wear this as a way to remind myself that I need to be strong, just like him. My dad was a really carefree person. He never let anything get to him, even my mom chewing him out. That's so true. But that didn't stop him from risking his life time and time again to protect me and all the people he knew and loved. He was amazing. I want to carry on his legacy and fight for those I care about. For everyone. But I feel there's more I should be doing. Wow, Gohan's amazing. He's such a strong person. You're doing plenty. <laughs> Rumor has it you're out there giving the androids a hard time all on your own. <sighs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Thanks. Trunks is impressed too, and unfortunately, now he thinks this is his fight as well. Go on. Tell him. <laughs> she doesn't know, right? That I'm training to fight the androids? Again? 
<sighs> you know, it's already pretty late. You must be tired, Gohan. Why don't you just stay the night? Yeah, you should sleep over. Come on, stay, Gohan. Well, I, I am pretty tired. I'll take you up on that offer then. Good. I'll prepare a bed for you. Now, you two go clean yourselves up. You both smell like you've been working out together all day. Mm. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was just... <laughs> oh, this man Gohan was really just like, ah, 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 you know what I'm saying? That's the boy. Anyway, Bulma's cooking has been unlocked. Uh, we already know about the perks of eating, so I'm not gonna worry about that. All right, we got more Ultra Helade and a D-Metal, how bad? Several days later, Trunks and Gohan take a short break after their training. Man, I was freaking out the other day at dinner. I thought my mom figured out we're training together. Well, Trunks, Bulma's one of the smartest people I know. If we keep staying out late, She'll eventually figure out what's going on. Yeah, so what should we do? Well, for starters, we shouldn't train every day. It might be best to incorporate some rest days into our routine. It'll be good for our bodies and prevent Bulma from worrying. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do it. Now that I think about it, it'll help me out too, since I'm probably worrying my own mom and grandpa. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been wondering about Chi-Chi and the Ox King. Uh, have you seen them recently? How are they doing? Actually, you know, I haven't been back home since I started fighting the androids on my own. So, uh, I'm not really sure. Oh, okay. Every time I'd come back beaten up and broken from a fight with the androids, my mom would go crazy on me. She'd yell at me and tell me not to fight them. But I can't stop fighting. I have to avenge everyone the androids killed, and I have to protect this planet. That's what Dad would have done. Go on. But honestly, I am worried about how my mom and grandpa are doing. Ha, <laughs> look at me. I guess I'm just as much a worrier as my mom. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, enough about me and my family. Let's call it a day, all right? Okay, see you later. Maybe I should go check on Chi-Chi and the Ox King for Gohan. See, I really like things like that, right? Sure enough, sub stories. Venture to a blue pillar on the field to speak to a character with a blue icon. Uh, well, blue exclamation mark, which we already know about sub stories guys as well. It's in the base game. Time but to to Chi-Chi's place. I actually really like what they're doing because again, remember that Dragon Ball Z Kakarot touches upon certain things that were never answered in the original story um all of this approved by akira toriyama by the way so the fact that we're actually going to be able to get an update on chi chi and the ox king while all this is happening in the future is nice because remember apart from you know chi chi worrying about gohan as well as the ox king in the special anyway that was really it so to actually be able to delve deeper into that is pretty nice but we're gonna end it right here. I'm actually very excited to see what this has in store. Cause again, with all the new things we will be able to do that weren't in the original special, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be absolutely amazing. But I do wanna know what you guys think about this so far in the comment section below. But with that being said, I'm Itakuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.